In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at and doing a tasting review of Quintaliza Reposado Tequila right here on the Tequila Overy. Coming up next. Hello, welcome to this episode of the Tequila Ombre, where today we're going to be taking a look at and doing a tasting review of a new tequila that just came out. It's called Quintaliza. It is a aged expression, a reposado, and they do something a little different with this tequila, and uh, it's additive-free, and I will go into more detail here about what they do with this um, when we talk about the production, but first I want to talk a little bit about this is supposed to be a has coffee notes in it. Now, um, I've been enjoying some really nice dark coffees lately, black coffees, and I've really uh, developed a taste for the flavor of coffee uh, and also have been working uh, on the sensory side with expanding my palate and stuff, and, and coffee is a great tool for that. So the when the idea came to me that, hey, you can review this tequila that has uh, coffee notes in it, I was uh, interested in checking it out. So um, let's not waste any more time though. Let's dive into this, see what this tequila is all about and we'll talk about how it's produced. All right, so this tequila comes out of NOM 1522, which is Hacienda de Oro. I've had several tequilas out of Hacienda de Oro and some were, were they're good. They weren't great. El Ultimo is one that was really inexpensive before. You could find it. It was a decent uh, budget option, uh, but I haven't really tried anything that I, I said, wow, this is spectacular out of Hacienda de Oro. So I'm hoping that this uh, is one that kind of changes that. So with this, they use five to six year old agave that they harvest and then they cook using a high pressure autoclave. After cooking the agave, they then use a roller mill to extract the sugars for it and then um, ferment in stainless steel tanks. After fermentation is completed, about three days or so, they then double distill using stainless pot stills. And then this uh, tequila is then placed in uh, previously used bourbon barrels for aging. And then after it is then finished aging in the bourbon barrels, they then finish it in coffee barrels. Now, to explain what they do, a lot of, I think people are confused about when they say coffee barrels. These aren't barrels that were used to, to ship coffee or anything like that. What they do is they actually put ground coffee in the barrels to season the barrels. So there's no liquid coffee that, that touches it. It's not infused with coffee, but instead the barrels get the taste from the coffee grounds that were put in the barrels to season the barrel. And that creates this supposedly unique flavor profile, which we're about to dive into next on the tasting portion. All right, so since they don't actually put coffee beans in the tequila or liquid coffee or anything like that, it is considered additive free. Uh, all the seasoning comes from the barrel, just like any other notes you get, like the chocolate and vanilla notes you get from the wood. Uh, it's getting the same thing. It's just was leached in from the coffee grounds that were placed into the barrel to season the barrel. So um, we'll go ahead and pour a little bit in the glass. I'm excited to try this. I've, I've been drinking a lot of good coffee. And if you guys haven't tried one yet, um, we bought an espresso machine here at the house and I've been uh, drinking the espresso and uh, and the coffee, the roasted coffees and stuff out of the Nespresso and they're fantastic. I really love the flavor profile of coffee. I'm really developing a taste for it as my palate's been improving. So, um, and actually uh, in the sensory training classes that I've been to and and exercises that I've been through, they actually say um, coffee is a great way of expanding your palate as well as resetting your palate after uh, tasting certain things and wanting to reset it so you can then get back into tasting. So I'm interested to see how coffee influences the flavor on this. So looking at it in the glass, it coats the glass beautifully. You got those tears forming on the glass. So it should have a nice viscous mouthfeel to it. Looking at the uh, tequila itself, it has a beautiful, rich amber color to it. Um, looks nice. Crystal clear. There's no coffee floating in or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, it looks beautiful. So let's see what we get on the nose on this. Oh, 
I do get cooked agave coming through. Hint of dried fruit. Some vanilla. Definitely hints of caramel and chocolate coming through. Not picking up any coffee, really, honestly. <laughs> I love the smell of coffee, but I'm not getting any coffee notes on it. So it smells like a really nice reposado, basically. All right, let's see what we get on the flavor profile. Now that I haven't uh, had any tequila yet today, I'm going to go ahead and, and season my mouth and get it ready for 40% alcohol. So we will not do any tasting on the first sip. We're just going to get our mouth and gums ready for 40% alcohol. So hold on a second here. All right, now that everything's kind of settled down, we'll get into tasting it. I do get that cinnamon and baking spices up front. Some nice vanilla notes coming through. Definitely some like chocolate and caramel. I'm waiting to see if I if I get any coffee notes coming in. I don't have any coffee yet, but I'm going to see if it if it develops here over a little time. It's a nice visco viscousness on the mouth feel. Coats the mouth wonderfully. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, I am now picking up a little bit of that nice coffee, bold bitterness that comes through. Took me the second sip, but it's starting to show up now. Um, when you get the vanilla and the caramel notes coming through, you'll get a little bit of that nice coffee bitterness that comes through that has a little bit of kind of a citrus, lemon-esque kind of uh, note in it as well. So it definitely tastes like a bold, like dark roasted uh, coffee that's in the middle of it. It's it's nice. I like this. It's different. I definitely could have this as a sipper um, after dinner. Uh, it is a little bit hot. So there's a little bit of uh, heat that comes through and there's a, a big bomber flying over the house while I'm doing this. I have an Air Force base by my house, so I apologize for the, the C, probably a C-17 flying over, cargo plane. Um, but it does have this nice boldness that comes through in the middle with the vanilla and and chocolate. I can see myself enjoying this with uh, a nice um, Maduro-type stogie uh, after dinner. Um it's good. I like it. So it's good. I, I'd recommend trying it. It is a little bit rough. It does have a little bit of a heat to it, but it's not bad. It's just enough to kind of make the flavors explode in your mouth. Um, it's good. I, I enjoy it. I'd recommend it. Um, look for it online. Grab some. We'll see if we can get some for ferment and still to cure it when it comes to California. Right now, it's not available in California, but it's not a bad sipper. So um, I'd recommend it. I give this one four agave. So there you go, Quintaliza Reposado. I recommend it. It's good. It definitely um, has the coffee note in there, and it definitely has a little bit of heat to it, pepper heat that comes through. Uh, so it does have a little bit of a burn. You can feel it kind of burning a little bit going down um, your esophagus into your stomach, but it just warms you up nice. It's nothing like super uh, turn off or anything. Um, it's definitely enjoyable and something that I will enjoy sipping, especially with a good stogie. So there you go. If you like the information I share with you, make sure you click the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, bienvenido, welcome. 
and make sure you click that subscribe button right there and the notification bell next to it so you get notified every time I post a review or an informational video. We'd love to have you comment and become part of the Tequila Ombre community. And like I always say, life is too short to drink bad tequila. So hey, if you wanted to pick up a bottle of Quintaliza, go ahead. It's good. You'd enjoy it, especially if you like coffee and especially if you like more bolder uh, reposados. All right, there you go. Salute.